Hi guys, welcome back to Techno Power, and today I'm going to do a review on the Lego Wizards Battle set that I got for Christmas because um, I've wanted this set ever since I saw it, and I know it's quite old at this point, but I've always wanted it, and uh, guess what? Now I have it. So I think we'll start off with the minifigures first. So here is Gandalf the Grey, who I absolutely I love these figures. I think they're very very cool. I've got him on his angry face. Uh, so his staff is just one of these. Oh, sorry, my fell down. His staff is just one of these brown pieces. Uh, but yeah, I love uh, Gandalf's prince. And I've taken his hair off. Uh, he's, you can see it, he's got this face. It's quite a popular face. I people use it for like Alfred and uh, old old people. No offense. Uh, his beard piece is quite cool, and his printing is to show like his robe he doesn't have his cape or hat but yeah what you gonna do um beard piece and then his hair his hair right here it's a cool hair piece uh so he's got happy face and a complete rage face just give him rage face uh there we go so let me just give him his staff back and there we go, Gandalf. And, uh, sorry, I'll just stand him up on here. Right. And, uh, the bad guy of the set, well, one of the villains, I guess, is Saruman. Uh, let's talk about staff first. I actually really like the build for this staff. Uh, I actually had all these pieces, and I legit built this staff. <laughs> and used it until I got this set. It's somewhere, I don't know where it is, so... Uh, I guess Saruman can have... Oh, God. I guess Saruman can have two staffs, if I find that. Actually, no, the piece... The main piece that I use is on Penguin. Um, but anyway... Um, so here is the Saruman minifigure. Here's his face. He's, let me just take his head off. So he's got Christopher Lee happy face and Christopher Lee I'm a psychopath face. Uh, his cape is the... Older style of capes because this is an older set, not the cloth ones, it's the paper ones. And uh, his legs are just white legs. Um, but I really like the printing for Saruman's body. I think it looks really, really cool. Printing for a hood on the back. And I also... Focus. I also really like the headpiece. I think it's... I think they're exclusive just to Saruman minifigures. Like, just to Lord of the Rings sets. So yeah, just put Saruman back together. We'll give him evil psychopath face. Give him his staff. And people stand. There we go. So oh, whatever. Anyway, now on to the actual set itself. We got the Eye of Sauron here. Uh oh god. I hate this when it comes out. There you go, the Eye of Sauron piece, the exclusive piece, I think. So, yeah, just put that back in. And Mr. Freeze Dome over it. It's the Palantir that Sar Saruman communicates to Sauron with. Uh, this throne, now if I take this piece off, uh, you can see it's quite early in the morning, so the camera probably won't focus, but there's a, there's a slot right there. And what you can do is, when you put Saruman in his chair, his cape will slot right in. And that's really cool. And there's a feature on the back. This little knob thing. You press that, Saruman goes flying. <laughs> uh, please correct me if I said Sauron uh, over Saruman, because their names are very confusing. Their names, uh, it's hard not to say. It's hard to... You know what, never mind. And uh, there's a feature on the back here, under. So when you spin this around, the Palantir spins. So, yeah. And uh, just some grey platforms, some stairs, and the throne. So, yeah, quite a simple set, but I adore it. So, thank you for watching. I uh, know this was kind of a short set review, but um, I can only go f this video. I can only time. I can only go for my videos. These videos can only. This video has a time limit. I can only go for five minutes and six seconds. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.